Hello friends, welcome to Patu's Kitchen. In today's video, we are going to make Thai green curry. This is very very easy to make. Only problem is collecting all the ingredients. Some ingredients are not easily available. I will tell you the substitute also. First, we will make the green curry paste. For that, we need 2 teaspoons coriander seeds, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, half teaspoon whole black pepper. We will be dry roasting this. We need a fistful of coriander leaves, few coriander roots. You can use the bottom part or wash the roots well and use it. 3 to 4 shallots. You need the bottom part of lemongrass, around quarter cup. 2 spring onion greens and the onion. 4 to 5 kaffir lime leaves. You can use zest of lime if you cannot get this. You get dry kaffir lime leaves online. Then ginger, garlic and green chilies. Green chilies you can use according to your spice level. If you can get Thai ginger, it is still better. Since I could not get it, I am using regular ginger. First we will dry roast all this. I am getting a nice aroma, I am turning off the heat. We will powder this, you can powder it in mixi also. We will blend all this together with the powder we prepared. Few drops of lemon juice. Thai green curry paste is ready. We need 2 carrots, 6 to 7 baby corn, broccoli florets, we will be steaming all this. We need all colored bell peppers, 1 zucchini, 100 grams mushroom. We will not be steaming or parboiling this as they will get cooked faster. Vegetables are chopped and kept ready. Green paste is ready. We need 125 ml coconut milk also. Now we will steam cook. Carrot, broccoli and baby corn. You can also parboil it. This is done. Turn off the heat. Heat 2 tablespoons of coconut oil or olive oil. Add the green paste. Add salt needed. Cook stirring on medium low heat until rawness of the paste goes. Add mushrooms and zucchini. Cook for few minutes. Then add all the bell pepper. Cook on medium heat. Stir now and then for even cooking. Do not overcook the vegetables. They should retain their crunchiness. Now add the steamed vegetables. Cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Add 250 ml thick coconut milk. Heat the coconut milk and turn off the stove. Thai green curry is ready. Enjoy it with hot rice. We had it with hot rice. It was very delicious. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
Do not forget to subscribe to Padhu's Kitchen. Also click the bell icon so that you will get notified every time I post a video. Do share this video with your family and friends. Thank you.